Hey guys, how you doing? Big John with J Custom Builds. Happy Friday. Oh man, I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things, guys. I'm actually uh, out here walking without my cane or without my walker. And uh, I wanted to just come out here and uh, I was going to try to start these girls that haven't been started. Sapphire, Negada, my girl over there, and uh, Wolf, and Blue. Of course, that one hasn't been started since like last December. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna open up some windows in here and I'm gonna see if these girls will start, all right? Well, you know what? We could try to start Wolf right now because uh, Wolf doesn't need a key to start. So let's check her out. So this beautiful girl right here is, uh, hasn't been started probably when was the last time i started this girl i think when we moved her back here and that was sometime in uh what was it now october when i have surgery in july sometime in july i believe so oh look at those lights i love those lights so i think i mentioned to you guys before i've never done the leds on these guys but let's turn that radio off I've never done the LED on those, but I think, oh, gotta be careful. I'm tripping over stuff over here, guys. Not good. But uh, let's see if she starts up. She's gonna be really loud, guys. Yeah, she might start. Woo. I felt that pressure on my foot. Watch where I'm walking, guys, because the last thing I need to do is fall in here. Beautiful bike. Let her run for a minute. I'm going to grab the keys to the other bikes. All right, guys, we let this one run for a minute. All right, guys, we let that one run for a minute. So I want to see if uh, Sapphire starts. So let's go see if that girl over there starts. Gotta, again, I got to watch where I'm going, guys. I'm walking without a cane or a walker. I'm taking baby steps, guys, baby steps. Look how dirty this beautiful bike is. You guys can see the dirt on her, huh? Look at that. So, let's see if this beautiful girl starts up. Make sure she's in neutral. She's not in neutral. Hang on, guys. All right, guys, she's in neutral now. So, I put blue LEDs in here, and I didn't put the LEDs in there. Um, probably not going to do it on this bike. Um I don't think I'm gonna do it on Wolf either because it's a lot of work to take the fairing back apart and pull those out. But um, let's see if this girl starts up. Oh, she might start. Woo! I love the way this bike sounds, my favorite. So this is the 2009 Ultra, has ABS, it has like, I think 40,000 miles on it or something like that, it may even have less, um, grab the keys before they fall, and uh, it's a beautiful bike man, I, this bike to me is rides the best out of all of them, it's my favorite, it even rides better than my, uh, rides better than my Ultra Classic much better it's got ABS mine doesn't uh, it's just smooth the last thing I did to it was I put the, the chrome uh, forks on it and that ring right there can turn white or yellow and I think I left it yellow because the the bottom 
the bottom front uh, fender light is yellow also but this bike's got leds all the way around i bought the uh i bought the uh i forget what it's called i bought the little uh the bar the light that goes in that you plug in it's like a hundred and something bucks just so that all the led lights would mesh so it's got all led on it and it sounds amazing it's a beautiful bike. Sorry guys, I'm all over the place. I love the way this bike sounds. So that is uh Sapphire. Let's see if let's see if my bike starts up. It's my 07 Ultra. Crap, this one's not a neutral either. Oh, maybe my battery's low on the let's see if it does a little bit better here. Yeah, let me put it in a neutral really quick. Sorry guys. There she goes. Let's see if she starts up. That's a good sound. So I, I got everything on this girl. She's got all the LED stuff on it. Um, I'm gonna put a Daymaker headlight on this one when I go back to work or get going again so I started doing little things I got the Willie G caps on there I'm, I'm actually I actually made a video doing that before I had my surgery got the Willie G brake on there the front the back poor baby's dirty as well So they all actually, uh, they're all actually starting up, guys, which is great. So this is the key for the Road Glide. And so this is the bike that I've least ridden. I think the last time, it's been two years now. I took it out when my cousin Albert took the, the frame in the Riviera and he took all the truck, the truck parts. This bike's literally been sitting for two years it's extremely dirty i feel horrible it's got spider webs all over it and uh, it's just been sitting and uh i've been wanting to take all this uh this uh flat block stuff off get new speakers in there i think now that it's winter i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start taking this girl apart and i wanted to get all that stuff painted um black gloss black just like everything else so let's see if this girl starts up I'm going to change these bars too. They're 12s and they're, they're inch and a half or inch and a quarter. I want inch and a halfs. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to go with the meat hook um, like I did before, but uh, I'm going to change the bars out and uh, go to a 14. I want them a little taller because my arms are kind of down. They're not up like the 12 sit a little bit higher on the uh, ultras and the streak lights. My dogs are running around all crazy so you can see this girl right here i've had her now for six years since since 2018 yeah six years november and i got 3731 on this so let's see if this girl starts up no poor baby is she's completely dead so the trickle charge is right here. Let's slap her on the trickle charger, guys. We'll try her again tomorrow.
Okay, guys, we put her on the trickle charger. Look at all this, guys. You can see how dirty it is. Look at all that. I feel horrible, man. It's got spider webs all over it. Can you see the spider webs right there? But uh, I'm going to clean her up, guys. I'm going to make time for myself and uh, my wife so we can uh, start going on some rides. And uh, just got to build my leg up. It's been nine weeks today post surgery. And uh, I'll show you guys my leg really quick. Scar still kind of really jacked up looking, kind of purplish. I, they still want me to massage it, but I've been scabbing up pretty good now. But uh, nine weeks, guys. Pro surgery today, nine weeks. So I'm, uh, I'm really happy. I'm tired. That just that little bit right there got me winded. Plus, I had physical therapy today, and my legs feel like jello. So, I just wanted to come out here, man, and create a little something and show you guys that uh, I'm still here. And uh, I'm going to try to do a little bit. I hope you guys are okay with me just coming out here and doing whatever I can. I'm just showing you guys that I'm still here. The bikes are still here. The raffle's still going. The bikes haven't been started in three months, maybe almost three months you see they fired right up the only one that didn't fire up was the road glide because i don't think i've started the road glide uh well it needs a new battery now um the battery is literally six years old that's the original battery and i haven't ridden it in two years so of course it's gonna be uh it's gonna be uh it's gonna be low so yeah guys i'm just trying to you know come out here and uh and let you guys know that my giveaway is still still solid it's still going we need to start selling these 93 items that we have left so we can go ahead and uh give one of these bikes away man i got 93 slots left i have probably 140 150 items but i'm only trying to sell 93 i told you guys i was going to do 200 i went from 300 to 250 to 200 so i've only sold 107 items in the last two years that's a hundred and seven hats and t-shirts some of you guys are repeat customers so i'm hoping and praying that i can get some new customers i had one new customer in the month of july june or july and i haven't sold anything since so i'm hoping that we can get hey buddy i'm hoping that we can it's hot out here it was like another 95 degree day here my little guys were you know outside inside outside um, they get overheated fast, so I'm not trying to have them outside. So they've been pretty much in the house this week in the, uh, with the air conditioning on. So anyways, going back to the, to the giveaway, I have 93 left, man. And so I got to get those 93 items sold so that I can use two grand of that money to have the bike shipped to you wherever you live. I got a lot of customers on the East coast, mainly in the East coast, some a lot of them in, in uh, probably in SoCal, a few here, some in the Midwest, but they're mostly in the East Coast. I don't think I've sold any items to maybe a couple in Texas, just a couple in Texas, none in Arizona, none in Nevada, none in Tennessee, none in Florida, none in the Carolinas. I don't have any customers from the South at all. So man, I don't know. I'm just trying to get my name out there again. Like I said, they're here, guys. Those of you who have already purchased your hat and your t-shirts, your items, however many you've purchased, whether it's one or 20, you guys are locked in solid in this giveaway. Either this bike or Wolf is going to belong to you as soon as those 93 items are sold. So let's go, man. I'm shooting for some new customers, and I hope that I, my existing customers, those of you who have already spent enough money. I know there's a hand, a couple of you that have spent a lot of money and I'm, I'm so grateful to you guys. And you guys are gonna definitely have a greater opportunity of winning one of these two bikes. It took a long time to sell the 107. The first 75 sold really fast and then it went stagnant for like four or five months. And so, yeah guys, so, you know, I wanna really get these 93 knocked out of the park. My hats and t-shirts right now are $100, but it's really only 85 because $15 of that money is going to Tunnels to Towers for our uh, disabled veterans and first responders. Like all the, you know, a lot of the families that, that lost their lives in 9-11 and there's a lot of Gold Star veterans who lost their spouses 
or both of their parents. It's also for them. You know, they're spending this money to buy homes and you know they're doing a lot it's a great thing man they're they're doing way more than our government's doing you know our our so-called government they don't do shit for our law enforcement and our veterans man and that, that just annoys the hell out of me so this is one of the best causes that i've ever supported besides cancer and uh leukemia and all those people that are suffering with that you know i lost my dad to cancer my wife lost her mom to cancer so of course, I'm supporting all those good causes. And, you know, I never served, but a lot of my family served in the military. I honor our veterans and our first responders. I honor our law enforcement and our firefighters. So I'll do whatever I can to help. So yeah, man, I encourage you guys to get to get in it if you guys wanna win it. And uh, I'm going to continue to, to do this. I'm gonna continue to keep pushing and persevering. This is a passion of mine. And yeah, like I've had a lot of obstacles, but I'm gonna to continue to, to do this because I love it. I love building these bikes and I wanna to continue to raffle them off to, to you guys. I'm not trying to get rich, but I, you know, I am in it to make money too, you know, because I wanna keep it going. And so in order for me to keep it going, I have to have a little bit of money left, you know, to be able to buy another bike. And so, man, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would share this if you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you checked out my videos and if you enjoy what you're watching, I'd invite you to hit that like button. You know, that really helps the channel grow. Hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That way you get notified anytime I drop a new video. And if you guys have any questions about any of the bikes that I built, ask away. Any questions about anything I've done or anything I haven't done so far, I'll let you guys know. You know, I'm honest about what I've done and what I haven't done and what I'm interested in doing. I've got a lot to learn but I do have a lot of knowledge in the automotive industry and the bikes are included in that, in that as well. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. And again, if you're interested in entering my current giveaway, my first giveaway, head over to my website, jcustombuilds.com. Buy yourself a hat, buy yourself a t-shirt, buy yourself multiple, there's no limit. You can buy as many as you want. There's only 93 left. As soon as those 93 are gone, we're going to give one of these bikes away and then we're gonna immediately, the one that's left, we're gonna immediately start on that one as well. So that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you ride, always remember to ride safe, take care in everything that you do and uh, God bless you guys. I appreciate you guys, big time. Mm -hmm.